back off. I can kill you. You know, in nature, animals give you signs when something is wrong and you should stay away. And so it seems does the Republican Party. You know they eat babies. That is not bullshit. It's true. When most of us see someone who is mentally ill, we say, oh, I hope they get help. Republicans, they either use them to spread their insane lies or they offer them a job. Really weird. Or sometimes they nominate them for president. They're eating the dogs. There's definitely something wrong with our mental health system in America. How did Roseanne go from a funny, charismatic stand-up comic? I want you to rinse off this plate in the sink. Whatever. <laughs> to that. You know they eat babies. It's true. So it's not just the dogs and the cats, not just the pets. It's not just the dogs and the cats. They're full on vampires. And everybody still thinks I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. They're full on vampires. They love the taste of human flesh and they drink human blood. She's ill, and I can't tell you what's wrong, bipolar, schizophrenia, or something way above my pay grade, but the Republican Party for sure doesn't give a shit. Tucker Carlson is a soulless, spineless, lying sack of spunk. Pull him off the air! Who would stab his children in the back to get on TV. But I will say this, he found a home on Fox in the Republican Party. The footage does not show an insurrection or a riot in progress. Instead, it shows police escorting protesters through the building. But Tucker has a lot of company in the sad, insane world of conservative politics. I will eat your ass! Starting, of course, with Tiny Fingers, whose mind is leaking like an old tire, which would be simply sad were he not driving fast down a winding road and asking the world to hop on board. I will prevent World War III, and you are very close to World War III. Biden and Kamala got us into this war in Ukraine, and now they can't get us out. They can't get us out. Something happened to Republicans when Obama was nominated. Maybe it's the seeds of ugly racism, or maybe it's just part of who they are. When Trump started the birther BS that Obama was not a U.S. citizen, but instead somebody from Africa, well, well, you got a strong hint of who he is. People are trying to figure out why isn't he giving his birth certificate. That resonated with millions of Republicans who'd already been primed with crazy f***ing ideas. Believe in, I can't trust Obama. I, I have read about him, and he's not, he's not, he's a, um, he's an Arab. He is not. No man. No man. No man. No man. No man. He's a, he's a, he's a decent family man, citizen that I just happen to have disagreements with. And then it really picked up speed as Trump campaigned with crazy hate-filled missives against Hillary and even fellow Republicans. He's a pussy. That's terrible. Look, I loathe Ted Cruz, but saying his father was pals with Lee Harvey Oswald and assassinated Kennedy, well, that was just a warm-up. All I did is point out the fact that on the cover of the National Enquirer, there was a picture of her, him and crazy Lee Harvey Oswald having breakfast. He even threatened Hillary's life. Hillary wants to abolish, essentially abolish, the Second Amendment. By the way, and if she gets to pick, if she gets to pick her judges, nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. When Trump said that three million illegals voted for Hillary in California. In the presidential election, Trump tweeting that he won the popular vote if you deduct millions of illegal votes. Republicans nodded their heads, probably because they're that stupid to believe Democrats would or could orchestrate such a thing. Of course, that's given the DNC way too much credit. How could Democrats round up three million people who don't speak English and sneak them into polling places and yet allow Anthony Weiner to own a laptop? Thank you to Anthony Weiner. And then when Trump started his COVID crusade of China virus and injecting bleach into his body, well, you know they'd cross the line. Right, and then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? It's occurred to me that Republicans are either a cult or really, really stupid, or both. Um, I believe in hate speech. When you have hate for somebody, I am 100% into 
speech, hate speech, because it's freedom of speech. You can speak. Now, when you see Roseanne acting crazy, you might say, well, that's just a one off and Tucker's a whore. But you'd only be half right. You know, they eat babies. There's more insanity in the Republican Party than there is chlamydia at Coachella. R bizarre uh, article on RFK. And they're reporting that doctors in a deposition that RFK said doctors found a worm in his brain that had eaten part of his brain and then died there. What, I mean, you laugh, but I mean, what Jason. what might this mean? I mean, what might this mean to, to an election to, to hearing that he said this it, in it a deposition? It probably means, and one of the things that I tell my clients all the time is try not to go into depositions high. Who would invite this guy to their party? Me to make me look like a crazy person. I'm no shrink, but a guy who admits to eating roadkill and stuffing the remains into his freezer and or staging their dead corpses into Central Park and then admitting it on TV while Rosanna's in the room. I mean, I dare you to find somebody more insane than that. Donald Trump Jr.'s on cocaine. Okay, you win. Islands of January 6th. I hope Trump comes. I'm gonna punch him out. This is my moment. I've been waiting for this. For trespassing on Capitol grounds. I'm gonna punch him out. I'm gonna go to jail. I don't know if you know this, but it's true. Remember when Trump Jr. and Paul Manafort met with the Russians in the Trump Tower trying to get info on Hillary and they were busted? The only reason Donnie Jr. wasn't arrested was the law said you had to know what you were doing was wrong. And they concluded he wasn't bright enough to understand. I'm not lying. He'll be on the ground crying for mommy. He'll say, mommy, mommy, please take me home. It seems like Trump is a crazy magnet, attracting the most insane people. But the truth is, I think he makes them more insane. When crazy people listen to Mantis, they think they can get away with it. But of course, Trump is the true master and the rest are simply wannabes. Now CNN is projecting that the Republican candidate in that race is going to be Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. Now that psycho wants to be governor of North Carolina and Trump backed him all the way. <laughs> and then it was revealed in no particular order that he called himself a black Nazi, visited tranny websites, loved lesbian sex and enjoyed watching sex with animals. Ain't but two genders, ain't nothing but men and women. He says God called on men to lead not women. Called to be led by men when it was time to face down Goliath. Sent David, not DeVita, David. There's no reason anybody anywhere in America should be telling any child about transgenderism, homosexuality, any of that filth. And yes, I called it Phil. We could pass a bill and say you can't have an abortion in North Carolina for any reason. He says the civil rights movement in the 1960s was, quote, crap, and that Martin Luther King was a communist. Robinson posted the movie Black Panther was, quote, created by an agnostic Jew to pull the shekels out of your Schwartz pockets, using the Yiddish words for money and black. He referred to the victims of the Parkland school shooting as spoiled little bastards. The only thing he left out was Russian hookers peeing on him. Started talking about it, you know, do I look like a guy who needs hookers? And I assumed he was asking that rhetorically. I didn't answer that and I just moved on and, and explained, sir, I'm not saying that we credit this, I'm not saying we believe it. We just thought it very important that you know. Did you tell him you thought it wasn't true or you didn't know if it was true or not? I never said, I don't believe it because I, I couldn't say one way or another. How weird was that briefing? Really weird. But none of that really bothered Trump. The only thing that upset Tiny Fingers is that Robinson is losing big to a Democratic Jewish attorney in North Carolina. Look, this won't stand. If 70 million people voted for Trump, that means 280 million Americans didn't. And that will make a difference. While people can stomach bad politics because it's predictable, they won't stand for crazy. In other words, we'll execute the baby. They're eating the pets. Grab it while you can, Trump. What, what is it? The pussy! <laughs> the truth is, I feel sorry for Roseanne. They love the taste of human flesh and they drink human blood. I hope she finds her meds, but for Donnie Diapers, no meds, just this. Goddamn right. This is not fair. I'm ready, let's go. This isn't their Republican party anymore. Who's with me? I don't want to talk about this stuff. Do I, do I, do I? Am I wrong? Yes. Tick tock. You're in a lot of trouble, Donnie. <laughs> I think he's crazy. I'm Chip Franklin.